let's just start it up. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to Play It Painted Live. Hope you guys are having a fantastic Monday evening. I'm going to line up my chats now. And it says I'm offline. Liars. 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 Let's go. Did that actually happen? Yeah. It says we're streaming, so we should be good. We're going to call this Guild Painting. Painting Aristea. What's this dude's name? Mendoza. Mendoza the Sacred Flame. One day. Sacred Flame. Flama Flame. And I'm going to put hashtag Aristea. Hashtag Corvus Belly. Bleh. There we go. Alright. So we're going to do that. We're going to see if these features work anymore. Okay, that's all saved. Unsupported resolution. Let's go to events. And let's watch this sucker. And hopefully the chat works. Okay, we'll see if the chat works. The chat does not look like it's working. That's not okay. Maybe I go to... I'm going to try to go into the go to live control room. Let's... Ah, okay. Live dashboard? If I go, does live dashboard work? Uh, it looks like <clears throat> it looks like it's working, but the chat does not work on this thing. Show chat. I can't. How do you even? Mm. Eh. Yeah, it, it actually does not load up my chat for me. That is very upsetting. That's super bad. Okay, well, let's just see what we see. Okay, speaking of disappointing, this is the this is the worst the worst Corvus Belly Metal Aristea um, kit I think I've ever seen. This is the worst one. Um, you know, I used to think that Luna the Elf was the worst one. This one is the worst one, right? I'll just show you. I mean, it's that's professionally painted with the tattoos and whatnot, and you know, they tried to make it cool. It's not cool. I I don't understand the appeal of this miniature. There's all this crud here. The muscles are weird. Um, and then to top it all off, when you put it together, Corvus Belly. Whoever breaks their minis is kind of the worst. Like, just a not a good human being that does not, like, does not like people, I gather. Because he doesn't, they just can't cut, can't make clean breaks. And they make all these weird peg fittings. Nothing actually fits when you, when you dry fit it. Um, it's a mess, dude. So anyways, I'm going to quit bitching about it. We're going to color block this guy. And then, you know... We're just going to go from there because, like I said, this is, to me anyways, this is super disappointing. It's just not a good miniature, um, but we'll get going. Uh, if you do type in the chat, um, you can, oh, you know what I could do? I think I can open it up on my phone. Maybe I can open it up on my phone and... 
see if if I mute my phone, maybe, maybe I can see. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just do that, and I'm gonna say my chat is here. I'm just gonna type in "Hi, chat," and see if that shows up anywhere. Nope. It showed up. The, it showed up in my what's it called? But it did not show up. Uh, I know that's not helping you guys at all. It did not show up on my on my thing. So. Alright, so I'm going to keep my phone somewhere near my desk so I can see chat uh, if you guys are typing in the chat. Um, I'm going to have to fix the browser on that computer because that's bubkiss. Alright, anyways, so let's start with some Gilliman flesh here and get him, get him going underway. The... The model has character. I won't. I, I. I don't deny that. It has character, but it's not. Nothing on it is very well defined. It's not a good piece for painting. I guess is is I'll I'll just say that. Not a good piece for painting. But I'll try to get. Right, I'll try to get as much of the flesh on it as possible. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'll, you know, the parts that I had to fill with gap filler will probably just end up being um, flame. Cause you know, he is supposed to be an angel on fire like a sacred, a sacred flame, as it were. Where's Kurokro? Because this is a very, this is a very Kurokro, this strikes me as a very Kurokro, you know, type model. I don't know if he would be so down to paint it. I think he would. I think he would be down to paint this. So... So I'll do like that type of skin and then I'll make sure that like the back end of the skin here is going to be, um, it's going to be fire. Now I may do like, like a blue green Eldritch fire, you know, just to make him a little bit more interesting than the studio scheme. I mean, the studio scheme with the regular, the regular fire is cool, but it's also, it to me, it just looks a little, um, just looks a little standard, I guess, for lack of a better term. Obviously, I'll never paint that well, but the scheme itself seems pretty standard. So I'll do this. So we'll get the... I mean, it's a, it's a fairly cool... It's a fairly cool concept. I don't really, I've never actually played this character in Aristea. But I do need to get back to playing some Aristea, that's for damn sure. Aristea is a fun game. It really is. It's, <clears throat> I would say of the games that I'm currently playing, you know, this could be a game, this, this could be one of the best gateway games that I'm playing. Right. It's very fun. It's a good experience. You know, for the most part, painting this miniature range is quite rewarding. This guy here, I don't think is a good sculpt. But other than that, it's not terrible, you know.
so yeah. He's just this dude with like black pants on and no shirt and flames. Which is to me is pretty boring. The black pants I think are cool because it allows everything else on the model to stand out. But the rest of this model is pretty dang boring if you ask me. Right. Okay. Okay. In fact, blue green flames might actually be a little bit better for this model. I don't know. He, he just does not appeal to me. I don't... just doesn't seem like that cool of a model, frankly. Let's, uh... Let's do a little yellow in a couple of places here. It'll be a, a gold precursor. So, Hilt of the Sword, because there is a sword here for some reason. So we'll do this, the Hilt of the Sword. Yeah, I, I gotta admit something to you guys, you know, in addition to me being sick most recently, and just not really being able to do uh, the kind of streaming stuff that you're accustomed to uh, for subbing to this channel, um, I have not really been inspired to paint much, if you know what I mean. There really hasn't been... The re other than the, the commission stuff I've been doing uh, for Mythic Battles Pantheon, there really hasn't been much of a desire on my part to really get in and paint anything uh, specific. I guess I'm saying I'm not, I have not been really inspired by, mu by much of this stuff recently. And that's, that's, that's fairly disappointing. All right. That's fairly disappointing to not be <clears throat> not be so inspired. Okay, so now actually should I just do the should I do his all of his chains gold? That might actually look better if I did the chains gold and then the flame blue. I think it I think that might let's do it. Let's just do it, guys. Let's just throw caution to the wind. Let's do gold chain here. And then I can come back and highlight the skin the way I want. But no, I think, I think this is a good idea. I think gold chain will look cool. It'll stand out against the... Um, blue Eldritch Flames that I plan on. the bl Well, blue-green Eldritch Flames that I plan on having on this model. He's going to break the chains of love, this guy. Break the chain. Love. For those of you who are familiar with 80s new wave music. Which is going to be none of you guys, because you guys are young. And I'm not. So there. <clears throat> okay, so you notice there's a little bit of chain running down here through the fire. I just had a bunch of old songs that mention fire. You see that? There you go. Now you got some 
some chain there. Okay. Let's paint some details on his face, notably the eyes. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do like full pupils because he might look more, he might look more powerful with the sort of like, you know, glowing eyes. Um, I've been doing that more for like Mythic Battle Pantheon stuff. So, <coughs> let's fire this up. I need a slight, actually, that's a really, even though this is a super good tip, the brush itself is just a little, little too big to do eyes. Just a little too big. Actually, I could probably get away with it. Yeah, let's try it. Let's try it. Let's just dot some eyes with a totally inappropriately sized brush. We could do that. We could do that on this show because I'm daring. Or I could use I could be the, use the safe number two here, the ABT number two. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. Itching to play some RS Day again. Would love to play. So a little bit of let's do a little bit of shadow here onto his eyes. This is a rather unwieldy miniature. Solid metal mini with uh, with wings that are just going to completely imbalance the model. So, you know, I'm just going to make do and See what we can do here. I'm going to just throw a little bit of shadow in this mouth. Just a little bit. Okay. Faint, and I'll just put a little bit of color in the tongue there. <clears throat> oh, shoot. I missed a bunch of the chain. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's, let's, before we go too far, let's get all the rest of the, the chains of love that I missed here. There we go. The whole angel in chains thing. Ye old angel in chains. Okay. Now we need a little bit of white to do the eyeballs and that kind of thing. Yeah, I'm not, the tattoos are just, I don't know, man. The tattoos are just kind of lame. This model is just, uh, it just strikes me. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. 
I just don't think it's a very good model. How about that? I'll just say that. I do not do not think this is a very good model. There we go. So now he has So now he just kind of has the whites on his eyes. I don't know if that's, I guess that's okay. I could go in and dot the eyes. I just don't know if that will make, it's gonna make him look less powerful. Oh, should I try it? I guess that's, I mean, the worst that can happen, I just re-dot re the eyes if I don't like it. Mm -hmm. It just makes him look less sacred, I guess. He looks less, less godlike. Definitely more mortal. If I, uh... If I do this, well, we're doing it. Here we go. Okay. Eh, he doesn't look too bad. Let's uh, clean up the area around the eyes a little bit. <clears throat> and in fact, I should probably highlight the skin. I always use Fair Shadow for this. It's like, it works well with the Gilliman flesh as a, as a highlight color. It's a little chalky. So be careful with it. Now, one thing which is kind of cool is um, now it's not something that I really you know announce publicly, but I do back um, I do back some fellow content creators on YouTube uh, on Patreon if I do find their content to be you know beneficial or worth you know I, I guess just worth me supporting, right? Um, and I really only support two channels uh, on YouTube. One is uh, Dr. Faust Painting Clinic because I think I've learned so much from from watching Tony, and I'm sure all of you have. So as far as I'm concerned, the you know the five bucks a month I throw at Tony is very very well spent. He's going to teach me stuff that I don't know about painting, and there's lots I don't know about painting. Uh, so I always think that that's like a worthwhile investment. Uh, so that's one. And the other one I, I support most recently is um, I've been supporting my friend, Dicey Guy, uh, who, uh, who does uh, live stream painting on his channel as well. Um, and... You know, Dicey Guy's a, a very, very entertaining guy to watch. Um, I think he's from, I want to say he's from Finland. Is he from Finland or Norway? He's from one of those Nordic countries. I think he's from Finland. And uh, he's just a very entertaining guy to watch. And, you know, he's uh, he's got a, a family with small kids similar to me. And, you know, he's just trying to help make ends meet. And so I'm happy to support him. You know, he's just a good guy. He's been a supporter of my channel for a long time. So, you know, it makes me, 
I, f I feel good returning the favor. Uh, so, so yeah, so that's the other guy support. And coincidentally, you know, I didn't really think anything of it. I'm like, okay, well, you know, just wanted to do a do a good turn for this dude. And uh, turns out he did a drawing uh, last month for his patrons, and I won the drawing. So he's going to be sending me some some scale 75 paints, which is fantastic. So I'm really looking forward to, to trying those because I've never tried scale 75 paints. They're um, uh, and you know I'm always in the market looking for for the newer or better flesh tones. So that's going to be one of the things that I'm that I'm looking for here. Okay. So far so good. So yeah, that's looking pretty good. Sure. Detail on the face is looking good. I could do his eyebrows in, but I really don't want to right now. Okay, let's uh, let's cap off this gold with guess what? Gill him in flesh. <laughs> so I'm gonna take this yellow and I'm gonna shade it with gill him in flesh, and I'm gonna go in and hit it kind of heavy. Right, we want this shadow to pop on the gold there. There we go. And then I'll come back and highlight that again. But you see where I'm going with this. And this gold will stand out even more once the uh, once we go in and do the flames. But for right now, let's just get that. Do the gold. I do like the black pants, so we are going to block in the pants black. Just going to get that. Again, try to make that dark. Whoa, I already messed up a little. It's okay though, because that's gonna be black, so it's not that big of a deal. Just a lot of like crud on this mini it's just the details are they're good but they're all just kind of the sculpts got them all kind of smashed together right the details are crisp enough right but everything else they just kind of smashed together okay so there's that let's go ahead and uh, let's color block the pants. <clears throat> no, before I go too far, I'm going to hit this sword with Basilicanum Gray. So the blade itself has uh, the word flam in it, so it's I'm sure that I'm sure that the sword says sacred flame or something. Sure it does. I'm just trying to get there we go. Get some definition around that sword. And then uh, let's do the black. <clears throat>
So this part's cool because this will help define the different elements of the model. Just, just getting the pants in black is going to help, you know, show. He's got high water pants on. He's waiting for a flood. You know, the price you pay for your divinity, divinity flame guy. Your pants are, they're, they're too short. The divine flame has burned the bottoms of your pants. And now you kind of look like a dweeb. Which I don't even know, is that a word? I don't think, do people still use the word dweeb? Because I do. Okay. All right. All right. So there's that. All right, so now we start painting the, I'm going to start painting the Eldritch of Flames. And I, I'm always on the fence on how to do this exactly. Because I don't want to, the flames to be too dark. But I do want to have a good, nice, like solid base underneath the flame, if that makes sense. Um... So I have to have a mind to start with Verdigree. That's really where my inclination is to start. And then let's just let's just not use a contrast paint. How about that? Let's just paint it up old school. And we'll start with Verdigree and work our way up that like green eldritch uh, scale here. Sound good? You guys on board? Of course you are, because you're watching, that's why. So we're going to start with Verdigree. <clears throat> yeah, we're just going to paint this old Escuela style. The yellow flames are just kind of boring to me. Let's go like this. Let's get let's get this color down. So it kind of looks like he has kind of soapy. Looks like he's looks like he's got shampoo in a in a mousse like uh, mixture on his head. But yeah, we're going to start there. And I'm going to paint all this stuff in. All right? It's all that, all that plastic putty I used to blend. blend this horrible join in. We're going to paint all of that. Verdigree. And you even do verdigree here in between the wings. Because it's like the sculpt has the flames kind of happening around the wings. So we're just going to kind of honor that. Keep it centered off like that. Right, and then we're gonna do all of this too. Right, <clears throat> it's a pretty old school. I don't know. Like I said, this model is not. I, I don't. 
find it to be very impressive as a sculpt. It's kind of a cool theme, I guess. You know, for Father Mendoza. Oh, the burning mechanic in Aristea is uh, is very frustrating to play against. What's so strong about it is, you know, Father Mendoza's abilities are all they're all um, support abilities, so you don't get any defense rolls against these. He just puts fire on on your guys, and you just have to, you know, deal. You just have to live your life. <laughs> All right. So we're going to give this we're going to give this verdigris a little time here to dry. Make sure I've painted all the flames in the verdigris. Okay. And I know on camera it probably doesn't look like I accomplished much, which is fine, right? That's that's okay. We're gonna, you'll see where this is going soon enough. Okay, right now, main point is let's just make sure everything that's supposed to be fire is verdigree right now. Okay, cool. All right, so while that's drying. <clears throat> I'm going to do the undercoat on the wings, uh, and the wings are going to be more, again, more of a uh, organic color. Uh, when I'm doing white, uh, it with contrast paints, it's really choice of a cool white or a warm white, right? So in the case of a cool white, you would do uh, you would do this color, Griff Charger Gray. Um, that's not what we're doing though. We're going to do we're gonna do a warmer white on the wings, so I need uh, I need this color here, skeleton horde, and I'm gonna use a bigger brush to paint the skeleton horde in. <clears throat> but yeah. So this is just this is really going to work as more of a shade or an undercoat. Whoa, whoa! Guess I used a too big of a brush, but that's okay. I'll suck. Oh, I will recycle some of that. I'll soak it up. Put that there. We'll just give that time to dry. We'll give that a little bit of time to dry. And now we can go back. Um, now I want to go and um, highlight the gold that we did earlier. So we're just going to do little tiny little highlights on the gold. You can see how quick this model is to paint, right? I like it. One thing I do like about this model is you have several elements to deal with, right? You have the skin. 
of the muscles in the body. You have the flame, you have some metallic, and then you have wings. You have feather, feathered wings, which are, are all, these are all things that are fun, I find very fun to paint. Um, so we are going to uh, highlight the the gold, and I'm just going to skip, well, it's probably too light. Uh, let's do a little NMM gold base in parts, and then I'll, then we'll finally highlight one, uh, a lighter color on top of that, okay? You can see, things are going to start to move pretty quick now, though. All right, guys? So, here we go. like humming a very specific song that's a reference to an old 80s song that this model reminds me of very strongly. Um, so, pardon my humming. Okay. We're going to get this gold color back. I don't want to over, I don't want to over highlight it and take away from the nice shading that we got out of the contrast paints, but we're doing all right. Okay. Doing all right. Okay. And now, now we do the other color, which is uh, this ice yellow, which is really just tippy top tippy top highlight stuff right <clears throat> so just enough of this to kind of sell you on the idea that yeah there's a there's some metallic going on there that's all it's not going to be much, though. Right? Just teeny little, teeny little bits and pieces of the gold. little bits and pieces of the gold right just gonna sell you that idea that there's a little light bouncing off here and there right. whoop I messed up right there Not bad. Now, now we're going to start highlighting the flame. So let's do that. So we are going to move up the color scale here. And I could go to foul green, or there may even be. Well, foul green's not bad. Let's go to foul green. Yeah, foul green is actually not, not a bad color. On the on the flame highlight scale here, <clears throat> All right. Yeah, the foul green's actually kind of nice.
so it's right. It's mainly just a highlight color. Ooh. You can see it's kind of nice how that's that's blending in there. I think it's looking pretty cool with that that foul green coming in, right? Really kind of selling you this idea that it's not regular flame; it's more eldritch flame that's happening. I'll even put a little, right, even just put a little there, side of the head. And then <clears throat> here. So fire's coming in kind of fight kind of nice so while I'm not the biggest fan of the sculpt I am a fan of like bringing all these fun elements together and painting them like the fire with the gold, right? Really kind of plan off that idea. Yeah, I'm liking that quite a bit. Right, it, it, it plays off of the gold and helps, it helps show off the different elements rather than you know the boring steel and yellow flames which you know in of itself is a, a pretty good scheme to have it's just it just felt too standard for me it felt too standard i like this i tend to do i tend to favor these types of flames anyways when i'm given you know presented with the idea of painting fire on a model for some reason, I've always just been more about doing this. Okay. There we go. Pretty good. All right. Now, let's do the final color here for, for these flames. And the final color is going to be like a teal. We're going to use this marine teal as the top highlight right so I'm kind of steering it back towards a blue the very end Just do the tips. That's all you're doing. Now you can see that 
now it, it's looking pretty uh, pretty stark now, right? Should be the fire should be starting to start to really take shape. So yeah, not my favorite sculpt, but a very fun paint just because you're, uh, you're, you're getting to incorporate all these different elements on it. And you could paint this model pretty quickly as you could see, right? Like, that's just fun. That's just fun, right? Loving that. Now I'm gonna just keep blending that up and out. Yeah, there you go, man. definitely more striking the flame is definitely more striking now now that you're, you're starting to see you know where this is all going and then the best part about this top highlight cover color on fire is if you screw up it's actually okay it just looks like a little bit of the the you know the light of the flame bouncing off the other object <clears throat> so like you don't even need to be terribly exact when you're doing this there we go okay so it's starting to really come together now getting good good results on that flame All right and then <clears throat> now let's do so now we're going to start highlighting the wings uh, the wings are going to stay pretty white, so I'm going to highlight with this Tusk Ivory. So pretty light colors. And then this is just going to be really more of an overbrush. It's going to be a quick overbrush, and then we'll highlight the wings with one more color. But this is going to help set the stage for the next color, really. So overbrush, not a true dry brush. Just taking about 50% of the paint off the brush and then just using, using the flat edge of the brush to do this.
Yeah, I gotta say, I did not like the sculpt, but the painting process for this model is very fun. You're just working on stuff that you like. There isn't an overabundance of belts, buttons, you know, all that other crud that you will often see on miniatures. It's like, oh, pick out these fine details. Some people really like painting like that. I hate it. I want to work on, you know, big bold colors. I want to work on highlights and shadows and blending and that's the kind of stuff I want. I want to paint buttons, right? That doesn't, that don't do anything for me personally. I want to paint, right? I like this type, type of painting where it's like, yeah, you have this big, you have these big objects, you have these big bold textures and uh, things that you like. And it's a matter of fleshing them out with your brush, right? Fleshing them out and applying a little bit of creativity where you can. Uh, so I don't think I want to do a pure white here. I'm going to do I'm going to do off white as the final highlight color. So we'll do some off white. But yeah, I will say I really enjoyed this miniature. Just quick paint job and and it's just fun stuff, right? It's just All right. <clears throat> Should have had Mark on. I do need a co-host. I really do. I need an interesting co-host. Now, I personally think tattoos would just take away from this model, like would probably detract from all the other fun elements that this model has going for it, right? Like the big old feathers on the wing and that kind of stuff. If anything, I would do um, more like eagle wings where the the uh, where the inside the inside layers of feathers are dark and the outside layer is like a is like a white like you might see on a lot of raptors this is quite fun right not a true brush, uh, not a true dry brush that I'm doing here. I got to find room for him in my Aristea case. That's the hard part. Do I have room for this guy? I like the texture on the wings. I'm 
and the wings should not look right you don't want them to look too uniform that's pretty good like that quite a bit okay all right Let's go ahead and wrap it up. Paint the paint the black on the base. <clears throat> yeah, gotta say, fun. Not my first choice in sculpt, but you know, I got to keep up with my my Aristea painting. Got to keep up with the collection here. <laughs> All right. So his base will not match the other Aristea bases I have. I don't care. <laughs> right? I, I don't. It's okay. If it doesn't match, it's okay. Based on the sculpt, I don't see this guy like making a, you know, a tournament roster of mine just doesn't look as cool as the other alt sculpts so he's gonna be probably on the bottom of that list along with the along with the alt major luna I just think that's a terrible sculpt <laughs> they haven't all been winners folks the last eight ball sculpt pretty awesome uh, my favorites are Parvati, Gata, and Dart. As far as my, as far as the alt sculpts are concerned, that new Prism one's looking pretty cool. All the Musashi sculpts are pretty cool. I still rock the Chibi Musashi. Yeah, there we go, dude. There we go. Let that dry for a minute. And then we're going to... Do a little bit of cleanup. Yeah. Fun paint. Terrible build. Terrible build. Just like a lot of the other um, <clears throat> a lot of the other metal RSDA stuff. They're terrible to build because Corvus Belly, whoever whoever sculpts is brilliant, but whoever is in charge of breaking up the models, that person is kind of a bad person. <laughs> Wait, I think I was saying horrible things at the start of the program. Yeah, I think so. I think I was saying, like, just not a good human being. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Not bad. Um, you know, for all the different elements on the model... It's, it, it does kind of, to me, it does kind of run together. And so you're, you're kind of banking on the overall effect of the model to kind of save it. Like, yeah, it's a burning angel with wings and that kind of thing. The wings straight out kind of bother me. I'm not sure. I, I'm always kind of uh, wishy-washy with how I want wings on a model. I haven't really found the best 
something with wings on a model other than I would say, you know, I prefer, frankly, I would prefer the wings be too small to use and have them, you know, kind of folded out a little bit so that you're, you're really kind of looking at the, you're looking at the, that surface, the inside surface of the wings from the front of the model. But I, I don't know. I don't know, man. Um, you know, one day I'll play some RS Day again. But for now, this thing is pretty fun. Um, yeah. I don't know. That thing painted pretty quick, right? We just chilled, and I didn't. I don't think I went particularly fast. It's just there's not. Like I said. There's there's elements to the model that are very fun to paint, and you once you do the color blocking, and you get that squared away, then it really is just kind of fun, enjoyable painting from then from there on. I'll let this guy whoop, let it dry. I don't think I'll I don't think I'll seal him tonight. I think I'll let the whole thing um, dry fully, and then then we'll handle that. But yeah, um, what else do I have on the horizon? Well, uh, I'm supposed to be painting a Lord of the Rings set for Nelson. That's massive batch painting. I don't think, I don't know how much of that is filmable um, because you don't want to watch me paint like 20 orcs. It's just not, <laughs> this is just not going to be very entertaining. Uh, you, I may paint some of the characters on camera. We'll see. Um, there's also what I'm really excited for, which is I'm painting a new Guild Ball order team. I think this is the third or fourth order team I've painted for Guild Ball. This one, I really probably most likely will keep. <laughs> Because it's going to be, you know, I missed having my order team because my order team was my, my casual team uh, last year. And then, you know, then I raffled off my order team because I was like, I don't see myself playing this team. But I did, but I lied to myself. <laughs> totally see myself playing that team. Uh, yeah. Like there's, I, I feel like I, with Guild Ball, it's, it, yes, I sell teams, but I I still love playing uh, playing the teams. Really, the only team that I don't like miss playing that much would probably be blacksmiths. And sadly, um, union. And I never sold my union. I, the, my union team is still my season one union team. Maybe I need to sell that team. I should probably just sell that team. Uh, and so instead of selling, I, I, well, no, I probably will still sell my engineers. Um, I'm trying to keep it to where I only keep like two or three guilds, but let's see. Right now, I have, uh, I have Alchemist, Masons, Engineers, Union... Uh, I currently have a cooks team. My son has the blacksmiths team, so we'll just count that as his team. Um, but yeah, it's still that's still way more than I need. That's way more than I'm gonna play. So, anyways, okay, I am gonna call it, guys. We're gonna I'm gonna go to bed. Yes, I've been yeah, because I've been sick lately and sick really bad. I'm not staying up late. Um, not for a while anyway. Once we get used to these hours uh, and I get